Hey guys, it's me, Tracy, from Refurbish in the Middle. Okay, I just wanted to show you real quick, because I've been painting this chair. So I just wanted to show you how good our paint really does work to paint fabric. Um, I've got my brush, a damp brush. I've got my paint. I'm using the new um, Bunker Hill Blue and a spray bottle. And I'm just going to spray across there. I guess I better get more water in there, but that's that. Okay, I'm going to take my brush. And I did dampen my brush um, before. I'm going to just go ahead and take the paint and paint all over the fabric. I just think this is the greatest thing because I have had a lot of stuff reupholstered and I know how expensive that is to do. So it's nice to have a second option that's a little more economical because um, with the paint you're not locked in because someday if you you know got tired of the paint you could still go back and get it upholstered or you know make a slip cover or do whatever do whatever you want so i'm just gonna paint this i got this the cushion left to paint um and i'm gonna paint this all over and another little thing is too if you start getting the paint and it's you're having trouble and it seems like it's clogging up go ahead and just hit it with a little bit of water and then keep on, keep on keeping on. Okay. Dixie Belle paint really is amazing because you can paint anything with this paint. I've never seen a paint that you could use on so many different products. And it it's just as good as if you painted it on just your plain old wooden furniture or whatever. So I'm gonna come down here and get here real good. Let's see, I need to cross the front. And a couple little things that are my little tips. So, in you know, everybody comes up with their own stuff. Um, no way is the wrong way. So don't ever get frustrated doing stuff because, you know, you do your way. All right, and that's pretty much it for this. One thing I like to do too is when I'm painting with the painting on the furniture, I typically like to use your regular old square brush. And um, you can use any brush. So don't think I'm saying you can't use any brush. You can use any brush you want. But my reasoning behind this is, and let me turn this camera up a little bit. Okay. There's the, the other chair that I had finished um, earlier. Is because when I'm painting a chair, well, let me tell you the story with my first one. The first chair I painted turned out spectacular, and I was really happy with it. Um, and I took it to the lady, and she loved it, and I said, well, go ahead and sit down in it and try it out. And when she sat down in it, this stuff, you know, from any person, spreads spreads open or this spreads open so that's why i like to use this square brush because then i can get down get right down in there with this see how it gets right across there and everything and that's another reason why i have this square around here too because i want to get it in there but back to the story the lady sat down the chair spread open and i was like oh it, but that was my first chair and she loved it and you know I went back and just touched it up and, and we didn't have any problems but but every time you do a piece of furniture you don't want to have to come back and do it again so that's why that's my reasoning behind this brush um, you may find it easier to do it with your so-called chalk brush but I like this brush and get right down in there especially like right through here this is probably where the worst is that you'll see. So needless to say, I'll get in there. This chair was dark forest green, and I did it all in the Bunker Hill blue. 
I haven't done anything with the legs yet because I'm not sure because when I'm done painting and then I'm going to sand it and then I'm, I think I might put something else on it, maybe some, I don't know, I haven't really quite decided yet, but I will post it in my blog when it's completely, completely done. So the next step you're going to do is, and I just use one of our little um, sanding blocks. If you have sanding paper, that works just as good. I just take the fine, the 120 grit, and go over everything. Gentle, gentle, gentle little sanding. You don't have to get down. Just hit everywhere gently and sand everything. Which I have already sanded this, but I'll just do this part again. And then um, when it's done, just I just wipe off for the extra dust. And then another thing I like to do too is I like to take our wax, our new wax, which really is good wax, and I take my little towel here and just get it on there. And this wax goes a long way. And I just just gently rub it across everything. Now before you go on to the wax or the sanding and the waxing, please make sure that your paint's dry. I let this chair sit overnight before I came back to do any sanding um, and waxing. And then that's, that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It's easy peasy once again. Um, we have some beautiful colors in Dixie Belle and uh, I enjoy working with it. So that's pretty much it. Don't, you know, I bought this chair at a sale for $25 and it was this, that dark forest green. And it, yes, it does have a pattern. It had um, grape leaves and vines and some little grapes here and there. But uh, I wanted to do something a little more modern and edgy. So I am going to do something. I haven't quite decided. Um, what exactly I'm going to put on there for a accent piece or decoration, whatever you want to call it. And I still got to paint these legs. So, but that's it. You need a water bottle. You need your paintbrush, your paint, get your rag, wax, and sandpaper. And you can completely change your furniture in an afternoon. So that's pretty much it. Easy peasy. But I just wanted to show you how easy it really was. Thanks.